Ah, no, no. Stop. Bone is messed up. <clears throat> You looking for Maxie? We're waiting for some people to get on here. Start chatting away. Hey guys. I never announce my lives. I'm very spontaneous with them. That's just how it is. I just I'm in the moment. I do a lot of things in the moment. Hi. I can't, I don't know how to pronounce your name, sorry. Sammy, come say hi. Hello. Oh, hi, Kay. Kay. Hey, Leslie. Guys, wait until I show you what, why I lack motivation, okay? Well, you know. I'm going to start soon because um, it's going to take too long for, for me to wait for a bunch of people to get here. I did pressure clean. Good morning, son. Good morning, Lisa from Florida. I did pressure clean the all the front yard and then all my backyard. And then I had like, um, because it's been raining here, not now, not for the last couple days, okay? But before that, hi, uh, Guadalupe from Chicago. Before that, it was raining. Hi, Karen. Good morning. It's been raining before that, like almost every day. And then we had that tropical storm. So can you imagine? So I have not been messing in the other side at all. Just because when I go back there, I get so overwhelmed. But I'm going to, we started vacation, right, for school, for the Thanksgiving break. So that's what I'm going to tackle. You know, I'm just going to work on it little by little. But I just wanted to show you the mess before I got to it. But I did clean and guess what I did? I kept looking over here and it just kept looking like a hot mess. And I just couldn't deal with it. So I just went ahead and cleaned it all out. If you guys remember and you go back and you look at my videos, there was a bunch of plants here. But not anymore. I did keep this here. Um, so... These are doing good, right, for the amount of light that they're getting because they're not getting very much light. My palm trees have grown so much that they actually get only, like, spots of sunlight. Um, but in the summertime, that will change. But for now, in the summertime, it will get, it will get some great good morning sun coming this way as the sun goes up. But, I don't know, it's just been... Um, you know, not a lot. Let me see this. Oh, you bought a new greenhouse. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, I've completely abandoned my poor plants. I just, when I go back there, I get so overwhelmed. I'm, I just can't, you know. And then, I don't know, it's just a lot. So, And then they don't look. They don't look what you want them to look like. And you know what's another thing? You know what, what I noticed, what I did? So you know how I changed a lot of my plants into terracotta pots? Well, that was very beneficial for the plants, but for the eye, for you to look at them, terrible choice. Mold, nonstop. And um, it wasn't like that before because, you know, they were in, in other kinds of pots. But now, um, these are doing great. I love these. I look at them and I'm in love with them. Guys, uh, this was here, tropical storm. Nothing happened to it. This survived also a, hair, a hurricane back. So um, that video that I made, top favorite, are all um, of these type of plants that kind of like grow. So the, I think this is like golden sedum. And then I, I have in here uh, Sunset, California Sunset, but I also have Sorrento. Uh, um, I think it's Cedaveria Sorrento. So those type of plants, I don't know what family they are. Like if they're in the Graptopetalum family, look at that. Look at the difference here. Of So I have an overhang. I've talked about this before. I have an overhang right in above this. So it gets less water than my other ones over there. And you can see the difference. It's got some color, but not as orange as, as these. 
see the orange i have some um some weeds growing in there that i need to pull out um so yeah i took all those plants and i cleaned all my rocks and everything just because i couldn't deal with the mess and i threw everything back here but before that it was already a mess so we have nothing but a bunch of leaves pine needles in here um from the tropical storm yeah i mean i could do that i would have to unpot every single plant and i don't know if i want to do that um the the point of the terracotta pot is because it's supposed to be better for the succulent because it breeds so I, I don't know if once you seal it if it can still breathe you know so i just don't know but look look at the mess that i have to i have to clean all these rocks and that's a lot of work and then i have a I don't want to say I have OCD, but yeah, I have a problem. I'll literally sit there and pick at it. I mean, I, I use the blower as well. The blower helps a lot, but yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. I've lost many plants, many of them. And if you look back, guys, if you look back at last year during this time, I, my plants do not look like this. This is a different year, and it's been pretty... Um, tough i think well i guess for everyone right tough for us and tough for the plants at least here in florida so there's that um so yeah but i mean the agaves are doing well these were over there on the other side this one i don't know what's wrong with it i don't know if it's just the pot is too small for it so it's looking a little uh wacky Ooh, so this fell I just saw this. This wasn't like this. Oh, gosh. What happened to it? It looked like it just broke off. It's a really pretty Kalenkoi. It adds character. <laughs> yeah, it's just more of the black spots. The black spots don't look good. It looks like, what's going on there? You look pretty diseased. <laughs> you know? Um, so, yeah. It just... Look, let me just show you. And I, I took the shake cloth off. I don't know if I took it off too early. And again, just lots of rain and bugs. I'm tired of the bugs. This is rain, obviously. Just too much rain. Too much rain. This one will be okay, but I don't know. Let's put that there and see what happens. But yes, some of them still surprise me, right? when i look at them and i'm like oh you're still alive <laughs> so yeah uh this one is doing pretty good too this one here right it's weird this hoya acts like it doesn't get enough water these leaves should be more plump but they're not it's like you've been getting all the rain everyone else has been getting what's going on with you i don't know i don't understand this one is is new to me uh it's a very spoon um, she's doing well for now, so that's good. Um, oh, ghost plants are also awesome to have. Very strong plants. Not a lot of hassle. Um, another one that I love is, where are you at? It's this one, um, Purple Delight. Purple Delight is another plant that's just like, wow, you're so pretty and such a strong plant. I can't reach it because I put all these plants in front of it. Okay, Purple Delight is right there. You see that big one? It's such a also strong plant. You know that puts up with a lot. That's what I mean. Look at this one. Such a beauty. They're starting to get prettier. They were not looking pretty. Uh, it's been, like I said, they've gotten a break from water. So you can see here. See here, right here looks good but over here it was going to look like a little funky like something was maybe some type of mold or something i have no idea this one i'm surprised that it's still alive as well you know th this one is very sensitive normally doesn't um handle the water um these are doing well i propagated these they're doing well let's see these are, are doing pretty good as well they're so like um they grow like that you know like downwards this is a different type of grapto 
a ghost plant. It is a different type because it looks way different. This one, Maria from the Circular Living had sent me this. She looks very different than my ghost plant. Let me show you a couple. Ghost plant. Ghost plant. Ghost plant right here. Um, where's my main one that I always had? Hold on. Ghost plant, original ghost plant. ghost plant this one look at how different i'm gonna show you how different is growing here this one is struggling so i don't get the spots like what are they is it true that it is watermarks i wonder this here does get um like direct sunlight like if it were to sprinkle right now and it was one uh let's say 12 30 and it would if it were to sprinkle like rain just like a sprinkle and then the sun came out this would get direct sun so i don't know if that's the cause of that that does happen here often <coughs> i'm sorry let me show you this one over here look at the difference look at the mess i have going on but look at that what a happy looking succulent and i did not think that these pots were going to do well here i just took a chance because this would get direct sunlight in the afternoon but I just took a chance. Um, they were already acclimated to sun, direct sun. But I didn't know how they were going to do with um, afternoon sun, which that's different. And it, they're doing well there. They're pretty happy. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm choking. And then this one, too. I've never been able to keep um, the mini ghost plant alive. And over here, she's doing super well. So I don't know. I was debating i'm like maybe i should make my my steps for my succulents here like a big ginormous step of succulents going upward maybe i should do that this one did not do so well sorry somebody's um, rocking this morning so this one here is not doing well it just didn't make it but these two are happy here yeah i know that's why so i mean it's just a lot of work too so to um to unpot all those i have i don't know what to do so yeah like this gets all dirty because um when it would rain it would rain so hard it would just make a hot mess and like i said i have um many plants have have been sunburned or just from water and rain so yeah i don't know i'll i'll be honest with you guys i i i felt very over when i come back here i feel very overwhelmed and i just i want to say i'm just gonna get rid of it all but i can't my husband tells me you don't know what you want to do i'm like you don't understand yeah yeah they get big they'll get tall like a house if you put them in the ground and they go wide and tall like a forest when i went to go get some for free that's what that guy had he had it in the ground and it grew crazy but um yeah yeah it's a lot of propagation i felt a little sprinkle it's a lot of propagation but um what was i going to tell you guys yeah, I don't know what to do. It's very hard to let go because it's a lot of work that you've put into it, you know? So that's it. Like, I'm like, well, if I get rid of my plants, what am I going to do on my YouTube channel? Look, it's already raining. It's raining already. Look, this fell on top of this. I had to move these here because they were getting too much sun. So hopefully they'll start to get better. But um, look at that. This is crazy. This thing, it just drops seeds everywhere and will continue to grow more here. There's just a hot mess everywhere. Look, some 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 algae, <laughs> some moss growing there. But um, yeah, it's just um, a lot of work to give up, and then like, not to give up, but you know, just to let go, and then I'll feel like I disappoint a bunch of people if I do. So, yeah, and look, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain already. Why? Why is it raining? It's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to be a beautiful day.
Oh, no. I've never willingly kill a plant. That's just the time it takes to get so big. You know, that's that was my disappointment. It's already raining, sprinkling. That would be my disappointment when I would go to Home Depot and Lowe's to see them just, you know, not take care of the plants. I'm like, do you know how long it takes for the plant to get that big? That's crazy. And then they just, you know, but it's not, it's not something that they do intentionally, you know, it's just that a lot of them don't know a lot of, and I'm pretty sure the job doesn't pay much. So they're not going to sit there and educate themselves on a succulent, you know? So, yeah, but, um, I mean, so plants that I'm surprised, surprised, right? Because people say, oh, cactuses, they can't have too much water. Well, tell it to them. This one has been getting all, if you look up, look up in West Palm Beach, how many inches of rain has West Palm Beach have received during the last, I don't know, three months? You're going to see. <laughs> it's been a lot of water. But um, look, see, not dead, thankfully, not dead, not dead, right? I did lose, but this was a new one. See, it, it was new and the roots were not established. I think that makes a big difference is this one. This one, I lost one. It's so weird, right? It's like, why, why does one go and not the others? I don't get it. So, um, that one. This one has pieces. You don't want to touch that. It has little pieces that are dying. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Look at these. These, I'm surprised that, like, because right here, moisture can gather. I'm surprised that this is not, like, raw. I can see a little bit of softness there. But, I mean, it's not dead yet. Because they get rain on so much being... Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I can't do nothing about that. That's... Well, the goal has always been for me here in Florida. Hold on one second. I got to stop this from um, banging up my plants. The gate. So, uh, the goal has always been to figure out a way for the plants to be outside. You know, because... There's only so many plants I could have in my greenhouse or even in my house. They won't grow as nice. They look better outdoors. They do. They won't look as pretty as they are in the greenhouse than out here. Because they get more, um, they still get more water than what I would water. Because I'm terrible at watering. So they do better out here. Look at this beautiful one right here. Look at how she's so pretty. I love how she looks. This one right here. Um, this is a euphorbia. And that's a, the hedgehog. And look at this big, beautiful monstera. So, um, yeah. Oh, I bumped into this. Sorry. Look at this thing. This poor thing. I hate. There's got to be something. Ow. I poked myself with that one. Guys, please help me. Scales. Scales. I hate scales. I can't get rid of them no matter what. I've tried alcohol, I've tried um, neem oil, I've tried um, peroxide. It just doesn't stop. Look, you can see the new growth has scales. So tell me something that for sure, for sure, for sure, you know that works. I, I really need to, I don't want to throw this one away, you know, because it's, look at that, it's producing cute little pups. Oh, it was producing one over here, but it looks like it dried out. That one's dried out. It's not going to do nothing. But that one's cute. Look at how cute that is. Cute little pup. But yeah. Look at this. This flapjack has been here for quite a while. Look, I've propagated this. It's doing well. But um, what else can I tell you guys? So that's it. That's what I'm going to be working on these um, next couple of days. I'm going to be working on... Um, just cleaning this hot mess up and that's why I haven't been out here it's um the rain the rain is just a real killer the mess it makes um and that's it but um yeah let me show you the plant in the front yeah I'll show you that look at this one look at this euphorbia 
She's doing pretty good. This one is new, so I'm very thankful that she's still alive. Definitely, I can't have plants in the ground. No, not here in Florida. It depends what kind it is. I can have, um, there's a bunch, when you drive around here in, Flo in Florida, you'll see a bunch of um, Apuntias, Euphorbias, um, San Pedro Cactus, all those kinds. They grow really nicely. But um, I don't know. I've had some in the ground and I've had to dig them out in the past where I tried to do a little tapestry underneath the palm tree and it just didn't do well. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't do well. These are doing really, these are doing pretty good here. Let me show you the plants in the front. Those plants in the front, those are, um, they're doing well. I'm happy about those. Let me walk slowly for you so I don't get you dizzy. Okay, so look, look at these. These are doing super well. Look, it's a very, uh, over here, I don't know why they're doing like pretty good. I think, in my opinion, for what they look like, they look pretty good. That looks good. Look at this cactus has been here for a while. Looks good. For all the rain that they've been getting, they look good. Even the, look, look, even a, a moonstone, look at that. That that has a lot of water. And for it not to rot away with all the rain that we've been getting, that's pretty good. Dusty Rose, also very impressed with the Dusty Rose because Dusty Rose is very similar to the um, Echeveria Pro Newtonberg and I cannot get to, um, I cannot keep a um, Echeveria Pearl this big out here never in the greenhouse yes where there is no water falling into it but out here exposed to the elements never i it can never stay like that and this one has stayed and it even has produced pups this arrangement here also look this one does very well can deal with the rain um has been, this arrangement has been here for quite a long time i did revamp it a little bit but i did not disturb much of it um, these, these were growing really nice, but started to struggle because they're probably not getting enough sun to dry out, but I'm going to leave it alone and see what happens. Look at these. These produce like crazy in there. Look at how plump they look. And they, they're dealing, they're dealing with the, um, the rain. Look at this one. I show you because you need to understand how much rain we get. It's crazy all the rain we get here oh you see what i tell you about the ghost plant guys and the spots i truly believe that the spots that i get here are from when it rains and if the sun is out right after or during it rains that's when it causes damage could because look at this over here she's shaded during this time look at all the new growth and it has no spots now let me go to the front like i said this pot has been this is old and you guys see me that uh, every now and then i'll go ahead and trim it all up and then it it drapes again but let me show you guys um this has got to go not doing good i think it's a very this i don't know what the name of it is i can't remember but it's a very needy plant that needs a lot of water and not good because it's underneath the table and it wasn't getting i guess the water it needs so it's just not doing good this one is is doing okay something is scarring it up it's got something and then um this one has been dropping it some of its things here i think it's probably it cannot be lack of water it's probably i don't know just too much rain i don't know um this one um, I don't like the way she looks, but again, I think she's going to perk up in the springtime. She's going to get better. She's going to start looking better. So I think she'll look good. Uh, guys, this, I decided that I'm going to turn in into, um, an arrangement. So I'm going to be doing that hopefully soon with better weather. That's, I mean, this time supposed to be better weather. Uh, this is my pride and joy right here. Look at, she's so pretty. I love to to look at her she looks like a piece of art right there that is the california sunset i love 
Love, love California Sunset. You can get so many different colors out of her. So, and that's why I like it. So that one's there. Um, this arrangement that I did here, it's doing really well. It's underneath the this um, canopy. Um, obviously, it does get rained on because uh, water still comes this way. But it's still pretty happy. Um, I did I did a video on this because I was trying to match or just make an arrangement like Home Depot had made. And that's what I did with that. Um, look at them. See, I have them spread out. And they're pretty strong plants, you know. They can deal with mealybugs. They can. There's more. So let me just show you. Hopefully you guys are not getting dizzy. I live in New Jersey, so I had to bring all my, yeah. I know, I know. I can't imagine. And then you worry if they get enough light because then they'll lose their structure and then you're just disappointed. See, I pressure cleaned all of it, even my neighbor's sidewalk. I went from all the way over here I pressure cleaned everything. Oh, guys, remember I asked you about how to clean the rocks? So let me tell you a tip on how to clean the rocks. Um, I bought this um, spray. It's called 30 Seconds. I saw people use it on their house and on, on anything that was outdoors that got mold, right? And they sprayed it. Oh, 30 seconds, and then you rinsed it off. It did work on their stuff. Rocks is a little different, right? Because it's just a bunch of little things. But... Nobody mentioned, nobody, on all the videos that I watched, that it smelled like straight up bleach. I paid $10 for a gallon of bleach. I could have went and bought bleach myself and just sprayed it. It smelled like straight up bleach. And it even burned my hand because I got some on my hand. So it burned my hand. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's straight up bleach. I could have just done that. Anyways, look at that. Hi, Veronica. Look at this one. She's so happy. I love this plant. This plant, guys, this pot was over there and constantly it would get beat up by the basketball or my husband would hit it with something. So I had to put it over here and then it started to, um, it started to get leggy and like this. Look, I'll show you. This, this is what it started to do. And I'm like, what's going on? You don't look good. So I went ahead and chopped it off. Whatever did not look good, I chopped it off and look what happened. Look, it just like blew up on the ugly spots. It blew up, so I'm super happy. She looks precious. Would you guys ask me? Do you water them or let them? No, yeah, I don't water this at all. There's just too much um, rain. No, I'm terrible. I don't feed them either. <laughs> I wish I did, I should. They would probably look so much better if I would were to feed them. Maybe I'll start doing that. Maybe that will be a... Um, what do you call it? A New Year's resolution. Yeah, um, if you chop them, don't let them get water. I'll be honest with you. I didn't do that with this one. I was just like, whatever, you know, kind of like a moment, like, I don't care what happens. Chop, chop, chop. And thankfully, you know, though, I did try to do it at an angle so that water wouldn't just fall off, you know? So I did do that, and um, yeah, but this is, again, a pretty strong plant. This is a, a, a ghost plant, so. No, I didn't, but you can. People put glue. People will put wood glue on top of it to seal it. So you can do that if you want to take another step of precaution. Um, sometimes if the pot is not big and it's small, I will chop it and move it to somewhere where it won't get rain and then place it back. Sorry, security. Security's driving by. Oh, I grew up in Connecticut. I have a grow room. Oh, we have a grow room, but does it have a lot of light? I want a grow room. I'm here in Florida, and I wish I could have all my plants inside. Um, because I just like looking at them. And I again, I I don't I don't like this. See, I don't like things like this. If you guys watch Maria, Maria from the Succulent Living, she has grow lights and her plants look perfect. Perfect. And you'd be so jealous. The colors. Oh my gosh. So pretty. When I watch her videos, I'm like, I'm going to do that. But I just can't. 
Like, I don't have any room. I'm like, where am I going to put it? I don't have any room to do that. I even thought about putting it. It's just not enough room, you know? I even thought about doing it in my greenhouse on the side that gets no light. It gets shade. But, yeah, I just it's just a lot of work. Uh, I grew up in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, my. Oh, so lights inside, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think Maria has great success, and it looks really nice the way she has it. These are just my random plants. Okay, here we go. So, um, this is doing really well. This is doing really well. It's old. Um, if you guys, I don't know how long you guys have been following me. I made a video on this pig. Um, look it up on my channel. Guys, when you watch my videos, it really helps my channel. I know I haven't been making videos, and um, it's just it's just been, you know, hard and busy. Look, a snail. Look at this little guy. Well, it's not there anymore. I don't know what happened to it. But, yeah, I appreciate it when you like. Also, like my videos. That helps me a lot. But this pig, it's on there on my channel when I made the video. Has been doing very well. Th see, but look. It is kind of, I would say it's kind of like in an overhang so currently not a lot of sun because of the time that we're in so it doesn't get a lot of sun look at this this is the happiest calanchoid panda plant i've ever had right here it looks perfect um because it's controlled i don't water this well i'm lying i'm sorry i have watered it sometimes because you see this that's a sign of it needs water. So I have watered it because I, it's an overhang. So I'm gonna I'm aware that there's an overhang. So I'm like, okay, I gotta water it. I water it when I water my shelf over there because my shelf doesn't get rained on. Only the only time it gets rained on if like again tropical storm, lots of wind and rain. But that's it. But um, this is I love this. I love looking at it. It's, it makes me really happy. Here I have a, um, this has got to go. What happened to you? Um, this is a, I don't know if it's the Christmas one or the Thanksgiving one. I don't know. But look at this cactus has been here. I made this also. I have a, I have a video on this if you haven't seen it a while back ago. I don't know what I named it. So I, I don't know what to say. Like what, what, I don't know what I named it. But, um. Yeah, it's been here. Look at how 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 much this has grown. This one. Oh, I have a lot of people here. Hi guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And this is the only plant that I've every now and then like replaced. Um, because again, it doesn't get as much water and these like water. These I would say like they like water. Let's see what what um from southern Utah. Well, it's hard to figure out how much care to give them. I kill my succulents when I put too much care into them. Where, where'd you go? Somehow managed to kill the devils. Yeah, you know, I noticed that some of these, if you ignore them a little bit, they do better. See this, I don't give this that much attention. Again, um, I'll remember every now and then, not a lot. Like I'm very bad at watering. If the plant depends on me watering, I tend to. If that's why I don't do super well with um, indoor plants, but I, I am. I'm trying now, so I do have a couple, and they are doing better. But yeah, I, I'm very bad at that. But that's why here she's happy because, well, if I forget to water, there's still humidity in the air, so she it does well. Yeah. So um. See this one? This one. I'll try to remember. See what I do with this one is these I water when I'm cleaning in my house and I find water bottles not finished. I'll come and dump the water bottles in here and that's when I when I water that. <laughs> or if I'm again if I'm watering um these. See those? I water those because um they don't get rained on. But um yeah, I, I can go a month without watering these but this is how succulents are again they will forgive you for under watering but they don't forgive you for over watering you know they will forgive you this one i moved she was inside my house for the longest time she looked good too 
she was just too heavy and everyone kept bumping into her or my daughter would get her hair tangled i'm like okay it's going outside you guys keep hurting my plan let me see hi grow more plants I have most of mine inside under lights. I live in Texas. Oh, you live in Texas. Um, do you watch Cactus Mania? I think it's called her, her channel. Anna, she's really nice. Yes, they grow so beautiful under, under, under grow lights. They do. So let me show you. This arrangement um, is from last fall not this fall but last fall i did this pumpkin and it's been very happy even this one over here i can't move it because um this little stand broke but look even these where are you these hold on you see these look they're so cute and plump and small i can't focus focus it won't focus i don't know why but yeah this is pretty happy here no sunlight over here right now during this time in the summer in the spring and summertime the, it this does get morning sun this is the one that i've propagated over and over and over again i tell you this one appreciates a cut she does and she likes water this this um string of of bananas likes water and trim because i trim her and i propagate like i'll put them other places or i'll put it on top as well just so that it can get fuller on top. And look at how long that is. She's really happy here because she gets all the rain. Actually, she's no, she's normally hanging. But because I have Christmas lights right now, she's over here. Um, look at this euphorbia. This euphorbia is pretty old. I don't know if it's already three years old. I can't remember. Um, this one I got is fairly new. You can see here where... The big growth was where she was probably like in a greenhouse and growing um, with frequent watering and decent light. And here, smaller growth, less light and less watering. This beautiful cactus, um, Mania from the Second Living sent that to me. She was so kind. I love blue cactuses and look at how tall it is. It's very tall. Look at this euphorbia. She has grown so much. Um, I don't remember where I got that. Thank you, Janet. So, let's see. Um, look at this other euphorbia. New grow. And then this is, I think, the Rick Rack. But, um, it's not... It hasn't grown really much. But, I don't know if it's because... I don't know. It could be dormant right now. I have no idea. This I've had for quite a while and this one too look it's pretty thin you see this is pretty thin this um this right here i can water she if i would have her outdoors like more out it is outdoors i'm sorry more out in the open where she would get all the rain she would be way more plump plump way more because they do save plenty of water in their leaves but um yeah she hasn't i can you know what i'll just put her out here so she can get some good rain and then this one i i moved over here for the same reason because it was on the, the thin side but it's getting plump and this one loves the water as well loves it um look at this i think this is a snow blizzard growing really nicely out here see this right here how skinny it is i can feel how skinny it is it could use water but i still have to be careful because this one has plenty of water so i just have to be careful um this i won't put out on that table to get rained on i rather water this like physically you know uh, just to be on the same side my hoya i don't know anything about hoyas i really have not done any research on them someone gifted this to me um, she's flowered for me uh, quite a few times and um, what else was I going to tell you guys she's uh, gets a lot of the rain as well so I've had yellow leaves fall but other than that it looks I think it looks pretty healthy it's, it gets some of these like white stuff that you can just like kind of brush off but I don't know what that is Here's a propagation. Look at how, look at how dark green it is, because it's more in the in the in the in the shade over there. 
You know, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway on my channel on this Hoya. I think I'll do that. I'll, I'm going to do that. I don't know when, though, because um, many of you guys are going to be in, like, really cold temperatures coming up. So, I don't know when to do that because I don't have a heat pack. But I can do it maybe coming in the spring. I can do that, right? This one, see, this one has pieces from that big arrangement. I, I removed them and shoved them in here because um, for them to get more water. They need more water. I, well, I don't know. Right there, it's not going to get any rain. Hey, guys, I finally painted this, too. I told you guys in the spring I was going to paint that. And, yeah, so the spring came and spring went and I didn't paint it. But I painted it yesterday. I finished painting it yesterday. So, yeah. Um, what else can I tell you guys? My, um, this palm, um, ponytail palm is old as well. She's just there in the corner. And again, she gets water when I water this, whenever I remember to water this. So yeah, that, is, oh, wait, I didn't show you guys this one. This one is a rare. Look at how beautiful she is. At least I think it's a rare. Um, I, it's right here, cactus, um, it's a mosaic aloe. It's also called aloe hemming, something like that. Hi, from West Texas. Do good in the sun, my opponent. Yes, I, I know, yeah, they do well. I actually gave my neighbor one. Ooh, you know what I was thinking? Because um, when I walk around the, na in the neighborhood, I see some some weird plants and i've thought about doing a walkthrough in my neighborhood showing you guys plants and see if you guys could name them because i don't know the names of them but they're pretty cool looking i, I don't know if they are like monstera types i have no idea anyways um so yeah i think that's it let me i'll show you my neighbor's ponytail palm hold on did you guys decorate for Christmas? We had to. Come on. During these times, you got to celebrate er early. So, um, oh yeah, there was something else. That, oh yeah, let me tell you guys. I almost forgot. I have a video that I was tagged on. And it's to show your more, most rare plants. I guess I'll do it in English and Spanish. I have to do it because um, the tag was in Spanish. Um... The tag um, was a Spanish channel that tagged me to do like your mo most rare plants. I don't know what rare plants I have, but I'm going to try to do it. Um, so let me show you. Thank you. So see this? This is a ponytail palm. And I wonder if underneath there, if there's a big, big like trunk base. But it's been there for years already. So I just wonder how big the the bottom is, you know? And she moved the other one that I gave her. I don't know where she moved the rest of her plants. But, I mean, I didn't give her that one. That one was hers. I gave her one. I don't know where she put it. She might have put it in her backyard. Um, she's got a bunch of um, desert roses. Uh, I mean, she doesn't know really how to much take care of them. They take care of themselves, you know? Let's see. It should be exposed. Ah, uh, you know, I was thinking the same thing, but it's been there for years and it's fine. So it, it looks really happy. It's been there for years. So I'm thinking, you know, that it must be doing well. She killed these trees. I don't know why she does that. Um, so she likes these trees. They're called... I only know the name in Spanish. They're called flamboyang. And they, those are the really pretty ones that you see in pictures. Like with um, a bunch of um, green leaves. And then they have like red flowers. Um, but this one is different. This one is supposed to be yellow flower. Because my mom brought that from Puerto Rico. Um, and I gave it to her. Because my husband didn't want to plant it. Because the roots are pretty big. But um, she chops it. And I told her, if you never let it mature, it's never going to flower for you. And she did that with her. She had one in the back. And she would chop it every year until she killed it. And she didn't mean to kill it. 
you know she just wasn't aware that she can kill it but i but i told her i said you keep chopping it it's gonna die and it did it did die so um yeah uh so that sucks uh we got a banana plant it's new this is our avocado tree right there it's really big haven't had avocados yet but hoping maybe this year coming this is our banana plant um it's it produced those those shoots there are new all those shoots are new we only had this and then all those shoots and then i don't know what is this what do you guys call this you guys know the name of this thing this thing is huge you guys know the na name of that and then this is our coconut tree is new as well oh i'm terrible at lithobs um i've bought them several times and but there's only one right now right there's one that i rescued somehow like i was killing it and then somehow i decided to take it out give it water therapy and then place it back into a pot with like lots of sand but the sand i didn't buy the sand the problem was that the um the rocks that i was using had sand in it so i just said you know what? i'm just gonna dump the sand in there and um it actually um produced um and it's doing well for now and i'm thinking gosh um how long is it gonna last me you know because it's already i'm gonna say it is two years old um so let's see i was supposed to come out here and work guys and then i started chatting with you guys and i haven't done anything okay let's see here's the lithops look at it not that one that one is not that old and it had more and only one left but look at this one this is the one that i have managed to keep alive and it even doubled for me it doubled and now it's splitting so for now it's my understanding that while it's doing this i leave it alone so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna leave it alone and i'm gonna see what happens <laughs> until it completely goes and that's it. everything here these look the same like no damage i haven't killed these um so yeah but there's a mess in here this i brought into the greenhouse because it was in the front porch but i can see that see the thinning see it was thicker now it's thinning in the front porch it's not getting the light that it needs so i'm bringing it here but eventually it's to put outdoors you know out there so we'll see what happens with that this is old this is already like three to four years old this plant and i think it's already like because i don't like again i don't feed my plants i don't do nothing to them so it's probably like um it's not gonna look its best anymore you know it's just and then i don't know where i had it it's not getting the light it used to get my greenhouse does not get the same amount of light it used to get when it was over there my own greenhouse when it was over there it got light all day and now here uh, i don't get as much light so the plants grow differently but yeah let me read this uh thanks karen i have not had one yet flower for me this plant looks some lizard poop right there that's lizard poop this plant, um, she's doing really good. Um, Melissa from the Succulent Home gave this to me. She looks really happy. So, um, see, here's my um, Echeverria Pornumberg. It's old. It's probably, this pot is probably uh, three to four years old. And in here, controlled climate, yes, it can do well. But um, outside, no these i recently transferred over to this bigger pot and i also beheaded them and some some of them i just shoved in there they're so pretty i'm hoping that they're going to multiply in there and that they're going to grow better um than where they were before yes okay i'm coming 
That's my big 11 year old child telling me that she's hungry like a little toddler. I'm hungry. <laughs> she can cook if she wants to. I actually, we had the girls cook for us. We didn't tell them what to do. You said, we, we just told them you have to make a meal by yourself. And go to the kitchen and figure it out. And they made baked CD with garlic bread and salad. They did good. For the first time, they did good. And it was, it was you need it, and it was good. Um, but yeah, let me read this question. I'm sorry. Let's see. Do you have... We have it here. What is that? I would have to see, like, a picture of it. Because I don't know what, what that is. To prune succulents. Oh, so... I guess... For me here, I don't know. I do it all the time. I want to say I've done it all the time. It just depends what you're going to do with the plant. Where are you going to place it? Are you going to control the environment? You know? But I guess um, a lot of people say fall is a good time. And also um, spring. Those are the two best times to do it. Um, winter, obviously too cold. Unless you're going to be doing it inside the house. But also some plants go dormant in the winter. Um... Summertime is just too hot for the plant, you know, like to be able to, I guess, fight a bunch of stuff. Maxie, come here. Maxie. Maxie, come say hi. Come say hi. Come here, Max. Maxie. Maxie. Come say hi. Aw. What's up, pretty girl? So, um, yeah, let me see. I, I was used to stop it, Maxi. Houseplants and when growing and flowering, and you fertilize them. The same for lip balms. Thanks. I live in deep places. Hardly ever gets cold. Oh, okay. So, what's it called? Um, yeah. That's it. I'm gonna um thank you guys so much for joining me in my live. I appreciate it very very much. If you guys have tips, please give me tips. You know, I'm constantly learning, just like you guys. I have a hard time with scales. It's one of my biggest problems. And then um, lately is mold. See mold right there? Mold growing. So comment down below. If you have an Instagram, follow me, please. That's the best way Oopsie, to communicate, to send messages. Because um, YouTube no longer has private messaging like before. You know, you can pr send a private message and, and, and talk. Well, on Instagram, you can message me. Um, you can share pictures of your plants. I can see them. Um, if you want me to feature one of your plants on my um, my post here, you know how you can make a post on YouTube? I can post it and on Instagram. I could do that as well. I really like when you guys interact with me. Um, I try to answer the questions the best that I know, you know, uh, on my experience. And, you know, some plants, it just, I, it's true what Laura Eubank says. You can have one plant here and another plant right next to it. Same plant. One does good and the other one doesn't. We don't get it. You know, it's like, it's so hard to please them. Some of them could just be very finicky, you know. And, um, yeah, these are my, my Fred Ives. They're doing pretty good. I'm surprised this one has made it. It was big, but now it's small. But I prefer it this size, to be honest. I like a size like this. Really big succulents don't call my attention. They're just too big. But um, let me see what else. Bye. You're welcome, Huang. Hi, Emily. I'm watching you from the Caribbean. My twin islands is named Trinidad. Hi. I love why. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Your thank you. Thanks, guys. I hope you guys, too, spend time with your families. Enjoy each other. Time goes by so fast, guys. My girls are growing so quickly, and it's just hard. I'm trying to hold on to them. And they're, they, they, they're easy, you know. They, they, they are trying to stay as young-minded as they can. They love doing still. I have a 13 and 11-year-old. They love, you know, doing crafts drawing baking you know they're trying to stay young they know that there's no rush to grow up um, to grow up i've spoken to them about it and 
they're very aware of it so they are actually trying to take their time you saw my 11 year old came she knows how to fend for herself i do make sure that she does know how to cook but she came to me i'm hungry and that's still i don't mind you know why because when when you when 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 you really when you'll notice time will go by so fast they'll be away they'll be too busy for you they'll be working going to college and 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 i'll be and then i'll be an empty nester and i'll be wishing for all that you know so yeah i know i got off topic but um sorry i ramble a lot see adam's learning process bye pam thank you so much yes everyone stay safe um, you know, do the things that you need to do as long as you're wearing a mask and then clean your hands and stay safe and, you know, take it day by day. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.